How to use Evolve Center Analytics For many years, City and Guilds has offered Evolve online testing, which enables you to conveniently set and hold tests. To enhance this experience further, we have developed Evolve Center Analytics. Evolve Center Analytics is a free online results analysis tool for City and Guild centers, which with just a few clicks gives you in-depth analysis of how your learners are performing for all your Evolve tests, and is displayed in an easy-to-understand format. Examiners will be able to gain clear visibility on what tests you have coming up using Test Calendar. Curriculum managers and teachers will be able to identify trends in your exam delivery and compare how you're performing against the City and Guild's average using test history. And teachers will be able to improve how they feed back on how individual students are performing on exam papers using candidates. This short video will help you get up and running with using it. Main Menu After logging in, you will arrive at the Test Calendar page. The main menu bar at the top of the screen looks like this. On the top black bar, you have five buttons to navigate the site. The Home button will take you to the Welcome page, which has a summary of key features. This user guide is filled with useful tips. However, in this video, we will cover the three main tabs. Test Calendar, Test History and Candidates. Test Calendar Test Calendar is ideal for examiners to quickly identify what tests are taking place on what dates. This is the default landing page, which shows you the status of scheduled and overdue tests for the current day. You'll be able to see a monthly calendar, which can be filtered to search for tests according to a 1 day, 7 days or 30 days timescale. Please also be aware that for this example, we are presently logged in as a test user meaning we presently have access to only a handful of data test records. By clicking on the Open Close Test Bookings button on the top left, you will be able to view a quick summary of how many tests have been scheduled before and after the scheduled date. At the top of the screen, you can search by centre, test or candidate using either the code or name in the text boxes at the top of the page. So, let's take a look at what tests we have coming up. By viewing our calendar, we can see that on Thursday the 3rd, we have six tests taking place on that day. The number in the grey circle shows the number of candidates taking this particular test in this time slot in a single centre. If we click the plus button on the right side, it shows a drop-down table, listing the candidates that have been scheduled for the selected test in this time slot. You can click the blue box on the right side then click Print Save Attendance Register for the test and times which you have selected in the tick boxes on the left-hand side and those tests will then save as a PDF, which can then be printed. On the right-hand side of this table, there is a button called Profile. This shows the candidate's test history and provisional score. As you can see, the candidate profile includes candidate name and enrolment number, test code and name, test date, City and Guild's Global Pass Average, Candidate Percentage Mark, Grade, Test Key Code and the Provisional Score Report, which can be viewed by clicking on the hyperlink. The Score Report breaks down the learner's response to each individual learning outcome, showing detail of how an individual learner performed within each learning outcome. With the breakdown of provisional pass grades, you're able to highlight strengths and weaknesses, enabling you to see the progression of each learner and understand where their development needs are, assisting in quality improvement plans. This is also the main feature of candidates, which we'll come to later. Test history. The second big function of Evolve Center Analytics is test history. This allows us to compare the historical data of how your centers are performing overall. The default view shows the data in bar graphs or pie charts across all your learning centers and qualifications for the past six months with pass, fail and no-shows color-coded. In this example, we can see four sets of tests which can be reviewed. This tool is ideal for curriculum managers to quickly see which tests and centers are performing best. 
You're able to view historical data for a particular centre and test by searching for it in the search boxes, as well as compare historical data over two date ranges, enabling you to identify trends, strengths and weaknesses in exam delivery and performance. In order to implement Compare, simply tick the Compare box, then untick it to reset back to normal. So, let's do a search for all functional skills tests between May and November. In this example, the default settings are already in place. For Centre, we have already selected 123456-99-TRNG, City and Guilds Trainers Centre, and in the Qualifications search bar, we entered 3748 for functional skills. Then click the blue search button to display the results of the test below. In this example, let's choose the qualification 3748110, functional skills, reading level one. If we click on the plus button on the left, it shows how your center performed against the City and Guild's global average, which allows you to understand if the issues are isolated to your organization or across other centers. We can also look at the Mark Distribution tab, which shows us exactly how well students are performing. In this example, we can see that three students achieved 40% and eight students achieved 10%. Above the bar graph, there are a few extra options, such as you're able to view the candidate list to see who took the test, the near pass results of candidates, which then allows them to resit the test with minimal extra support, and the overall center performance for the selected test. The Center Performance tab is particularly useful to understand the strengths and weaknesses of all candidates for a specific center during a specific date range. Here, we can see that there are four learning outcomes for this test and the average score of all the candidates for each learning outcome. Candidate. The final tab we will look at is the Candidates tab. This simply allows you to search candidate profiles and score reports, as you can do in Test Calendar. However, it's just another way of getting there. Here, we're able to search for candidates using a name, key code, qualification, date range, and enrollment number. However, be aware that in order for a search to be successful, at least one of the first name, last name, or enrollment number needs to be filled out. Just like in the Test Calendar tab, after we have searched for candidates, we're able to see their profiles and provisional score reports, enabling us to understand the strengths and weaknesses of the candidates in terms of what learning outcomes they're performing best in, which can then be downloaded and printed off. To find a candidate, let's insert their enrollment number in the search bar. We have entered SLL2796 in this example, and then hit the blue search button. Then click Profile to see their score report. The score report breaks down the learner's response to each individual learning outcome, showing detail of the areas learners did well in and those they didn't. This is perfect for teachers to be able to quickly monitor the strengths, weaknesses and progression of each learner and understand where their development needs are, assisting in quality improvement plans. Find out more at www.cityandguilds.com forward slash Evolve Center Analytics.